This is the Olivetti Suma 15 adding machine. Olivetti was a company founded in 1908 by Camillo Olivetti and it was based in Ivrea in uh, Italy. It's about 40 kilometers north of Turin, uh, close to Switzerland. Camillo had uh, designed a typewriter and yeah, the company had first made only typewriters. In around 1940 they made their first adding machine. This particular model was first made in around 1949 and was in production until at least 1960 or so. That's when a successor model uh, was released. Olivetti uh, prided uh, themselves on, on using interesting design, not just in the functionality but also just the aesthetics of the uh, machines they made. And this one has some interesting touches. It's a manual calculator, so it has no electrics and it's powered by this big lever at the side. You can notice that it has this uh, bend in it so that the uh, handle is perfectly vertical in the rest position and when you uh, pull it forward it's perfectly horizontal. It's quite nice. The, uh, the paper here has, uh, has this button next to it and that's to push the paper through. Most machines have just a, a, butter, a, a knob on the side but this one is uh, turned over to the top. The most uh, interesting thing about this machine is of course this weird yellow button here. This is quite unique. It's a, a four-way function button, it's a bit like a joystick and uh, yeah, it, you can easily use it, push that button with the thumb when you reach for the lever and yeah, you can select four different functions by pushing it in one of the four directions so essentially this, this one button replaces four buttons on the keyboard uh, yeah, it's, it's easy to use, it's really no different to any other adding machine in that respect. You can enter a number. Here you see uh, this uh, little uh, slider indicator to show you how many digits you've entered. And this is also used to clear the input, so you can just push this to the right to start again. When you've entered a number you can pull the lever to add that to the main register. The number is printed in black there. To print the total or the subtotal, that's uh, selected with this button. The asterisk at the top here is the total. So you push this upwards and pull the lever, and that prints the total. Totals and subtotals are printed in red and the total is printed with the asterisk at the end and that also clears the internal register so you can start a new edition. The subtotal is pushing this downwards to this uh, diamond shape and that prints it with a diamond at the end in red again but you can continue to do further additions to this. Uh, it can also subtract, and that's again with this uh, four-way button. Subtraction is on the right here, so you move that to the right. Uh, pushing this to the left, there's a little triangle here, that's the non-add uh, functionality, so any number you uh, enter now is printed with that triangle but not added to the register. And this is the zero of course. Uh, if you ex accidentally move this uh, multifunction button in the wrong direction you can correct it by uh, pushing this little tab here and uh, that releases the button.
this here is the repeat. So you, if you move this up, it's now uh, in the repeat mode and it won't clear the uh, input when you pull the lever, when you add the number or subtract it. So you can now uh, add it several times. And over here you see a small indicator, a number, and that shows you, uh, shows you how many uh, times you've pulled the lever. So this is really how many times you've uh, multiplied the number that you've uh, entered now. It says uh, 5 at the moment, so I've, uh, I have added it 5 times. Of course I can still append 0. There we go. And when I do that, when I append that 0, this uh, number is reset so that it now counts how many times I'm adding this, uh, this number in the tens position. So it's quite easy to do multiplications in this way. Uh, this comes off. Oh, th by the way, this is the uh, logo of the uh, office supply company and the importer of this machine. It's uh, nothing to do with Olivetti itself. Well, you can lift that cover off and get access to the ink ribbon, so that's easy to replace. It should handle uh, negative totals as well. There we go. So it prints a negative total with the asterisk and a negative sign after it. The serial number of this machine uh, can't be found on the outside, unfortunately. You have to really open it up and it's on the uh, chassis of the mechanism somewhere. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure in what year my, uh, my machine was made, but it, presumably it was in the uh, 1950s somewhere. So that was the Olivetti Suma 15. Thank you for watching.